What's up guys, welcome back to Lion Mark TV Market with another exciting, delighting and much interesting video here on the channel. So Mr. Peter Obi was live in just today um, to show support to Patrick Dacum, um, which is sort of more of like campaign where he gave a renouncing speech that the Labour Party in um, Jaws, which is Plateau State, should support him and make sure he wins the incoming election. The only way to prove that truly we are obedience is by making sure that we ensure that every other member of the obedient family is taken along and they are all elected to fill the different um, political position of the country. Obedience is not a movement. It's something that a lot of people have always said here uh, in the everywhere. It's not just anywhere. It's a movement that the youth have started and they are not ready to give up because it is our time and only our time will tell about the economy of this country and how we are going to really um, picture ourselves so far. Anyway, after that, immediately he left straight away to Lagos, Nigeria, where he paid visit to two different places. Um, those places are the places I'll be mentioning to you. We don't know about tomorrow, but for today, we know he is in Lagos and we are hoping that by tomorrow, it should be a mega campaign for the Lagos State Governor, the incoming Lagos State Governor, um, Badibo. Yeah, we know Badibo is our incoming Lagos State Governor and nothing will stop that. Despite all the uh, bohaha and um, the uh, constant uh, patriotic uh, act of the current governor is trying to pull in the state to convince the people that he's... Uh, efficient enough and competent enough to still deliver another four years. You and I know what happened at the end, SARS. It's not a new story. It's a story that a lot of people experience it, including myself sitting here. I experienced that end, SARS. I know, slept in a house, saw bullets flying, went to the toll gate, come back from the toll gate, and it was a different story entirely. So it is not something that anybody should experience again. And the tribalism in Lagos where they tell you it is... Uh, it belongs to the Yoruba, people should go back to their home state. And yet, there are Yorubas in the north, there are Yorubas in the south, there are Yorubas in the east. Yet, nobody disturb them or tell them to go back to their homeland because where they actually are is not their own homeland. Anyway, that's a story, a different story entirely. So today is in Lagos and um, Mr. Peter B is in Lagos. He paid a visit to two different places. That's Mount Zion. And first of all, he stopped by at... Pastor Adi Farasen, who a lot of you can tell of the um, experienced Lagos. He is the general overseer of the experienced Lagos, Pastor Adi Farasen. Now, he was there today to pay a condolence visit to the family because Pastor Adi Farasen actually lost the mother recently. Uh, well, she actually of age, so I think it's um, a beautiful one. She likes, I'm not saying, nobody's saying death is a beautiful one, but it's uh, more of like her to glory. And um, yeah, let me read out what he wrote on his page. He said, Today I paid a condolence visit to Pastor Paul Adifarasen on the dismiss of his mom, Mrs. Hilda Adifarasen. May God grant her internal rest and her family the fortitude to bear the loss. Peter Obi. This is coming from our incoming president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I hope a lot of you haven't lost hope yet because. Some people are actually losing hope seriously, thinking that um, the court case will be compromised. Also, he was at Mount Zion Church. He visited Mount Zion Church. We don't know why he visited Mount Zion Church in Lagos. This one is coming just this evening. He visited Mount Zion Church in Lagos. And yeah, it was an awesome experience there. I'll be sharing with you that video here. Just watch. And take note know that the obedience movement this is more of the reason why we tell you that the obedience movement is not just a movement that people want to hype or praise over anything it is a movement of uh, a great nation a people that really want a great change this is his appearance at Mount Zion enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe Drop <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
First of all here, just like our principal has sent his condolence visit to Adi Farrison family. Um, Pastor Adi Farrison has been one of the most steadfast uh, pastors in Nigeria who has never kept the truth from um, far away from himself. He has always made sure he stand by the power of truth, you know, preach the gospel, the right gospel to the people and make sure that yes, Christ dwells in the heart of everyone and you know, teaches people the real religion called Christianity. And to us, it's really a great loss losing his mom. We know God will give them the fortitude to bear that loss and grant them that steadfastness and um, ensure that, yes, they find peace, find comfort to move on uh, during this challenges time. And again, um, his visit to Mount Zion Church was actually... To me, it was actually a bit surprising because this man is always someone that will never visit one place and go back from that particular place. You know, like this lady said here, according to his visit at uh, Mount Zion Church, this lady said they shared the grace, but they refused to go because they heard Peter O.B. was around. And you could see from the video you just watched now that the crowd was extremely much and they were all hoping and waiting patiently to see that His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obi, will climb the pulpit, address them, give them some words of encouragement before they finally go home. Anyway, I'll be running this particular video here and I hope to give you an update from that particular Man Zion uh, visit today. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new here drop a comment in the comment section. Once more, I want to repeat this particular clip because it made me dancing this evening when I watch it. I was so, so happy seeing the clip. So I'm playing it again. If you're free to dance. It's it's a call that we all enjoy. Someone who teaches us moral, someone who opens our mind, make us understand that we own everything these people are enjoying in Nigeria. We own almost everything. Today, people withdraw 10,000 Naira for as high as 4,000 Naira. Even though the government has said the old Naira note is back into circulation and it's legal tender, a lot of people are not really paying ears to that. Well, I want to leave this as a final note to you guys. Now, the particular means you think you're using to make money might be genuine as a POS agent or whatsoever you do for a living. But honestly, continue doing this, you're killing the economy. Not allowing the Naira to circulate, you're actually killing the economy as the day goes by. It is our duty as Nigerians, as obedient Nigerians, whether you're into the POS business, you're into the foil business, if you have Naira, available Naira in your hand, allow it to go into circulation. That's the only way we can come out of these difficult times that we find ourselves into. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment.